Hey guys, how are y'all doing? Your Mike here. And uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to answer a question about this Mars Hydro TS-1000 grill light. Now, I mean, I get like messages about this light almost daily asking me how hot this light gets, saying that the readings that I got from the light weren't accurate. Um, so I, I would like to nip that in the butt right now because if this thing here is inaccurate because this is a reflective surface um, and it was giving us a skewed result, uh, we want to clear that up. We don't want uh, people to think the light is running cooler than it actually is. Um, so just to put that to the test, what we're going to do, um, I have a couple of probes that work a little bit differently than the infrared gun. Uh, as soon as I can find one here. So I'm going to use the uh, Inkbird. I'm not exactly sure what the model is, but this here's got a probe. And I'm going to shove this right underneath the heat sink. Or not the uh, heat sink, the... Um, uh, what do we call it, the driver and the panel. So we're going to get a flush reading under here and that will give us an actual real temperature. And I have another probe here that I put somewhere else. Uh, just let me look for it. Oh. Um, and then I'm using a Exoterra Reptile uh, thermometer and I'm going to put this here as well. because I would like to uh, see if, what we're actually getting underneath. And uh, I'm gonna put this, oh, I'm gonna make sure this actually gets stuck under here first. And I'm just gonna put this, uh, we'll put this up here for now. And uh, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this test for, I don't know, let's, let's just see how hot we can get. We'll just go up until the temperature stops climbing. So let's get at it. Might take a little while, but let's get at it. All right, guys, so this has been heating now for an hour and a half, um, and I have a, a nice diagram here because we use the Inkbird probe, so that gives us a full kind of understanding here of how it all worked out. And we got a nice arc on the graph so we can see that it heated up. Um, within the first hour, it heated up to uh, 56 degrees, and then over the next hour, uh, 45 minutes, actually up till now, it's only climbed uh, about 0.5 of a degree. So it is at 65.89 right now, degrees Celsius. Uh, so this thermometer here, I think we killed it in the process because it just stopped reporting uh, at 57.1. Uh, but I did find a other thermometer. I'm just going to keep this one because I don't think it's accurate. Uh, I'm going to take the battery out of it and use it for my TDS pen. Um, so I did find another uh, thermometer that I had and it is saying that it's 60 degrees. Uh, but these are obviously not as good a thermometer as the Inkbird thermometer. Um, and the Inkbird, like I said, is saying that it's 65.89. Alright, so 65.89 is pretty hot. It, it's getting up there in heat. So, um, but realistically, I would never run this light just like this. I'm going to have fans going because I'm going to have my plants in here. I'm going to want circulation, air circulation. I'm going to have my ventilation going. Um, and uh, there's going to be a lot more airflow in here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave all the stuff connected and I'm going to turn on my two fans. My One, my ventilation fan blowing circulation around here and I'm going to turn on my filter. And uh, let's kind of see how the, uh, the, you know, how the light cools off because that's how it's realistically going to be read in my situation. And I think for a lot of people, that's how you're going to run it. So that's what I would like to do now and kind of see how cool we can bring it. Right, out, right now it says that it's at... Um, Alright, so right now it says it's at, once again, 65.89 and it's still there. Um, so let's turn the fans on and let's see what we can get it down to just naturally running our tent the way we would. We can already see the difference here, 63 degrees, 62 degrees. It's dramatically dropping in temp. And this is exactly what I was thinking. Uh, when I did my other test, I had the ceiling fan running because I always have circulation in my kitchen and that's where I did the other test. Um, and there was circulation in there and that's probably why it was a little bit cooler. 
Um, I do know that the temp gun was obviously not working that well on the reflective surface, but I think that also had something to do with it. Like I said, airflow. Um, so right now we're already at 60 degrees and dropping 59.54. And um, like the fan's not even blowing on the light, it's blowing below it. So it really goes to show that if you're just sitting here cooking your light, yes, it's going to get hot. Um, but if you have circulation and you have, you know, like a, a greenhouse like we got here, um, a grow tent, uh, that light should stay fairly cool. We're down to 58.35, 57.09. All right, guys, so it's, uh, it's been probably, I don't know, let's just update my device here and kind of take a look and see what it's actually been. Okay, so since we turned on the, uh, we turned it on here, you can see on the uh, pad, uh, 139, and right now, we are at uh, 201. So 201 p.m. And uh, it has dropped down all the way to 41.44. So that is pretty close to what we actually tested with a the thermal gun. Um, running in my kitchen. That's actually I think like really close. I'm gonna find the clip and play it right here. So had the uh, top of the heat sink get up to 41 to 42 uh, at 106 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. Now on top of the tin that holds the uh, LEDs, I believe that's pretty much what we got was 44 or 40 some degrees. So 41.41 uh, is that's a lot cooler than what it was. It was at I believe, if we go back to it here, the highest temp that we had was uh, 65.89 degrees Celsius. Um, so that's quite a bit cooler, guys. And like I said, the fan's not even really blowing on it. It's kind of blowing underneath it. And uh, I do have my ventilation, as you can see, obviously running above it. But uh, that's how it, it would run in my greenhouse. So it's not gonna run super hot. I'm not gonna let it sit there and cook. So I know I put my hand on it. So actually, no, I put my hand on it when it was at 60 and it was pretty hot. I was not keeping my hand there at all. Yeah, this is, not only can I put my hand, but I also put my arm up here and the bottom of my arm is a lot more sensitive than my hand. So like, it just makes sense to run this with fans in your tent or in your grow room. Because like I said, I, I put my hand on it and it was at 60 some degrees and it was pretty hot. Like this was this was burning you hot. So um, like I said, if you have your ventilation and you have fans in your grow room, you're, you're good to go. Because like I said, you would not be putting the bottom of your arm on this light. And you know, even this tent here dropped down too. This one here says 38.7. So there you have it guys. Mars Hydro TS-1000. I know we can't really see the Mars logos on the other side, but anyways, there you have it, guys.